Hi, Anne. I'm sorry I didn't respond earlier. I heard your recent news from Kath, which is funny because my mother didn't tell my brother. My brother's wife told my brother. Um, and my, my sister-in-law found out from Jerry. I have a number of things I would like to say. Number one, I love you. <laughs> I'm not a pretty crier. I, re I am not. Two, I am so proud of you and all that you have accomplished. Three, you are the bravest person I know for starting your own business. Four, you never seem to back down from a challenge. Five, you've grown into the most amazing person. Six, I am jealous of all your accomplishments. Seven, you married a great guy. <laughs> Eight, I miss you. Nine, you will beat this thing. And ten, you are in my prayers and in my heart. He said, please keep us informed, and now I think my eyes are starting to water. So tell Jerry I said hi. You can call any time, day or night, if you need to talk. Love ya. So it was the first time my brother ever wrote to me that he loved me. Hi. My name's Ann Ganguza. At the age of 45, I was diagnosed with bilateral breast cancer. I had had no previous history of cancer in my family, and by all measures, I was considered a low risk for breast cancer. This documentary follows my journey from diagnosis to family dynamics, through my course of treatment, and finally, successful reconstruction. I'm gonna share with you the procedures that I went through, and my hope and intent is to educate and inform others, and to hopefully help those who have been diagnosed with this horrible disease to be able to make the very best decisions in their own medical course of action. We'll interview doctors, various medical doctors, including my gynecologist, my cancer surgeon, and my reconstructive surgeon, and learn about the various medical options that are available. We'll also include several missteps by others that happened to me and caused me a lot of unnecessary anxiety and almost changed the course of my treatment in a very negative way. The lesson? To educate yourself and to be your very own best advocate and very near and dear to my heart, we'll investigate several cases of women with similar age and family risk that lived in the same area of New Jersey that I did, all of whom were diagnosed with breast cancer. We'll explore the issues that affect the groundwater, the air we breathe, and the food we eat. We must be vigilant in our pursuit to eliminate toxins and carcinogens from the environment, not only for our health, but for our children's health, and for their children, and for future generations to come. Thank you.